uh, known as spice, illegal in our state. ABC 15's Mary Ellen Resendez is live at the state capitol with a breaking development. Mary Ellen, you talked to one mom who wishes this law would have been on the books years ago. That's right. It was a grandmother that we spoke to. We're going to give you her story in just a moment. First, we want to let you know that it was Senator Matt Hines that gave us that information. He is one of the sponsors of that spice bill. Now, because this bill had an emergency clause, it means it goes into effect right away. Smoke shops are forced to take spice or K2 off their shelves now or face felony charges. Now, one Peoria family told me while they are happy that this became a law, it doesn't really bring back their grandson. This will save one kid and one family from going through this. Then it's it's worth doing. Debbie Seven is happy to see Spice, or K2 as it's called, banned from Arizona. She has seen firsthand the dangerous effects of Spice when her 19-year-old grandson, Stephen Valdez, died. Stephen didn't want to die. He was just having fun with his friends like all kids do. Seven says Stephen had just quit his pot-smoking habit when he and his friends went to a local smoke shop for cigarettes. They were told Spice was safe. The people that worked there were kind of pushing it. This was, wow, cool and... You know, you ought to try it, and they did. Family members believe Stephen and his friends may have been smoking the synthetic marijuana for about a month when on September 27th, after smoking Spice, he and his friends began to arm wrestle. All of a sudden, Stephen let out a yell and fell backwards. Friends hurried to carry Stephen inside his home, where Stephen's mother, a paramedic, tried hard to revive him. But she couldn't save her own son. Seven says Stephen died of heart complications at the hospital. But it wasn't until the next day friends confessed they had just smoked spice with him when he collapsed. That's some evil garbage. And the kids don't know. If this law was passed eight months ago, he would be here. The spice law may be too late for Stephen, but perhaps in time to spare other families the pain of losing a child. Now, because everyone knew this law was coming, it was predicted that many of the users would be stocking up at smoke shops. Seven says that parents need to snoopervise, go into your kids' rooms, search for Spice or K2, and get rid of it. Live at the Capitol, Mary Ellen Resendez, ABC 15 News.